Hello buddy, welcome back to Sonic Unleashed uh, Part 2 and Captain Pissy Pants is very upset that he can't get his ice cream. Oh, if an ice cream man. man doesn't sell ice cream man, what is the ice cream man? Oh fuck, um, it's, it's just it's a regular man. Can I buy five ice cream mans? Yes, you can. Um, ice cream man is about questioning my favorite Robot Master. As an addendum to our, ice cream? Uh, <laughs> as an addendum to last part, <laughs> If they bring back human Sonic characters again, I still hope they make Zelda voice <laughs> noises. Oh, I really mm. like that. Oh. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> well, I mean, well, that, that was always a thing. I mean, they did that in 06. Hey. Pick it! <laughs> hey. You're right. You ate wrong. <laughs> Fuck your park bench. <laughs> Fuck your flowers, that man. Fucking, that fucking sound effect. It, that yeah. is the fucking sound effect half in the bag use every time they throw something off screen. Yeah. We should it start is like the it. most. It is. It, which means that, like, uh, Sega slash Sonic Team put so much effort into so much of, of this <laughs> game. As, 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 we, as we said last time, like, graphics, music, you know, locations. But they really dropped the ball in, like, sound effects. Hey, you had to budget all, cut all, somewhere, man. Like, the fucking sound design is so generic in this game, and it's such a shame. Yeah, I mean, these rings just sound like the cash registers in the Midwest, you know? That's really fucking <laughs> crazy. <laughs> uh, that's so fucking weird! St stealing from Speedway, you bastards. Just like, did, so I, did, did Sega, like, say, hey, you guys want to use the ring sound effect? Or did they just take it and just, like, never... The well, no, from what from, you know, from what I, I was told by someone, apparently Sega developed the. Uh, you know what? I, I think Sega uh, developed okay. the, the technology, and so it just came with a bunch of pre-programmed sound effects. Sega and, sound effects. And, and, and this week is literally, from what I was I understand, Sonic's ring is the first de default sound effect for those cash registers. Yeah, man, I told you that one weekend ago, and you already forgot it was me. Damn, was son. it you who told me that? For some reason, for some reason, I was thinking it was Tyson Hess told me, which would have made the story so much cooler. Yeah. But if it was you, that ain't cool. Oops. And this is this is the first game to really make Tails into a massive wimp. Fuck this. Maybe you've heard these prophecies. Well, <laughs> because of San Francisco's great what the sin, fuck? there's going to be a massive earthquake, and it's going to fall off into the sea. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, the, <laughs> what? What? What the? What the fuck was that, Chris? What the fuck was you, that? You That's called this shit takes too long. <laughs> but now we're gonna go on with this half hour level. <clears throat> How you guys doing? Do 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 do. So, uh, Chris, I'm I'm going to assume this is a. <laughs> God, this camera. <laughs> fuck it. Was the, for a second I wasn't sure if that was the game or if you did that in post <laughs> to make it look goofier. My job here but, is done. Um, I'm I'm going to assume, Chris, that you are playing with a brand new fire one, and thus you do, you do not have a maxed out warehog yet. Look at the bottom left. I don't. I can't see, Stephen. Stop being sightist. And you you and you can't replay the whole game with a maxed out warehog. There's oh no new God. game plus. The, the life meter is so small. Look I at could it. have edited it together if I like, cared, but I wanted you guys to suffer with me. That's a good excuse, right? That's <laughs> sure. what let's <laughs> players say. <laughs> Well, it's the it's the excuse that Stefan uses every time he leaves in him dying seven times in a row. Mm. I mean, it's the truth. So I gotta leave in eight <laughs> deaths. Gotcha. Are are you gonna die like fifty times in Eggman Land? Because it's totally the hardest level of all times. OMG. Well, Eggman Land's three parts, so. Eggman Land is hard though. I mean, the first Eggman, Egg yeah, the first it's hard, but it's... It, it takes like two hours. No. <laughs> it took okay. me two Eggman. hours the first time I played it. It took me, like, about half an hour. Wow, oh, humble brag. Bullshit! It took you half an hour the first time you did it. Yeah, Must yeah, be nice right. to be good at video games, huh, bruh? Why don't you share some of your good at video games juice with us, huh? I'll import that. I just play fucking, I just play video game, and I win. Fucking, as soon as fucking <laughs> Canada becomes, you know, I think, guys, I think, just, you know, we forget Canada recently made weed link. Eagles, I think Stefan just oh. got high and didn't realize it. It actually took him seven days to complete Eggman Land. Chris, are you going to break every single object in this game? You are worse than Link. It only took like half an hour to beat Eggman <laughs> Land, man. <laughs> no, I'm I'm only good at I'm only good at four video games: Sonic Fortnite. Unleashed and the three Spyro games. So <laughs> Fortnite four times. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> We're, dro we're dropping in Dry Canyon. 
No, we're not. We're gonna get back to that way later. Trust me. That was my that was my favorite fucking tweet. I just saw it's like when you're on a date and then they quote Rick and Morty. It's just a picture off of the gate to Dry Canyon. To Dry Canyon. Ah, <laughs> uh, get fucked, Rick and Morty fans. How you doing, Steven? I remember when I shared a bed with you very recently and watched the, the best Rick and Morty episode. Good times. We did we we did watch the uh, one where. Roy does not the way um, Rick does not have a social security number for Roy. Good times. That's 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 that, that that's the one with uh with fart right. Yep. A I like that one. Boys, how about how about how about we quit this LP and as a special treat, I'll take us all to blips and chips. Nice. Check oh, this shit. You're in the wall. Did I you just go? Oh my the wall. god. So what um, are you saying about bugs, I, dude? Yeah, remember the thing I said about last part about how these games are technically solid? Yeah, I forgot I said that. This game is trash. <laughs> I like that the frame rate hitches in that mandatory cutscene. Combo animations don't really take invisible walls into account. So the so the the enemy design of like the dark guy creatures is it just me or do they seem like they were just ripped directly from Kingdom Hearts? I have never heard anyone say that ever. Well, then, I'm a genius, Chris. You should bow to me. Yes, sir. As someone it, unfamiliar it with Kingdom Hearts, I'm inclined to say absolutely. Yeah, but. no, the, 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 big, the big ones do kind of look like the big blue... They look like blue heartless. My favorite thing about the egg fighters is once you kill them, they... They start doing this like death animation. If you constantly keep hitting them, that animation <laughs> will reset. So you can keep their agony going for hours. Damn right. So, uh, do you guys, like, baseline, do you like the Dark Gaia designs? Because I always felt very meh about them. They're just kind of there. It's, I, I, I love Dark Gaia, the final month, the final form of the creature's design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think his, his minions are incredibly generic looking. Mm. I don't think it's I terrible, think but dudes. yeah, it's nothing, like, amazing. The the Eggman robots are a much a bigger improvement over their the six designs, at least. Yeah, look at all those Eggman robots. Yeah, because the the Eggman robots in this game, they kind of you can the the ones in 06 were just extremely fucking generic. These ones, they have like they're kind of goofy looking, which is what Eggman robots should be, you know. They look like egg. Yeah, they look like egg. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so really... Steven, you, you 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 slightly played Kingdom Hearts. What did what did you think about the uh, the? Uh, we already Dark talked Gaia? about it in Rayman, but I mean that's going to oh, come did? out later. I think after this. Yeah. Our schedule's fucked. Our schedule's <laughs> kind of messed up, but whatever. I don't know. Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, I don't like it. There. The end. Wow. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, what what, what do you think of of the Dark Guy creatures designs in relation to all the fucking you know heartless designs? Do, do you think they're too similar? Do you think no. the at least ones look better? No, I mean the Dark Guy look more like animals, and the heartless look more like weird people. There. Maybe maybe the true heartless were just the friends we made along the Are way. Are the heartless different in every world? Uh, maybe, mm. maybe, maybe. I think we need someone. <laughs> new, I think we need someone who act actively plays Kingdom Hearts. It's in this good thing you asked. Is. There, there is, there is someone. Uh, I don't know, guys. Do you guys know anyone like that? <laughs> All right, let's Probably get Aaron. Someone in here. who who unconditionally loves everything Disney. Oh, Aaron, is he in the cool? No, but I wish he was, so we could, so I could make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> I wish this so, game started you off with like four more combos baseline, because Jesus. The only one I use once I unlocked it, because it has the funniest name, is the Shuri Hotkin. <laughs> That's the only combo I ever fucking use whenever I unlock it. But, when, um, but once you do have the combos, then it's so it's so great. It's it's because really like um it's I I as we're seeing here, you know, the combat is very repetitive, and even when you unlock more combos. It can be slightly more fun, but it, the it, Werehog levels do kind of go into a room, go into a locked off room, beat the fuck out of enemies, leave, do a sl slight bit of platforming, mm. get locked into another room. It, it gets very repetitive, and the levels are, f are far too long for, for what they are. Um, and it's weird because like, the, 
there is there is an insane amount of of kind of combo choice in Unleashed, but I think most people will just kind of find those, those one or two combos that work with them, and they'll just like use those exclusively. I never really <sighs> once I once I once I unlock like the Shuri Hawken like one of I never found myself going to like the the move list. Yeah, but it's weird. Know? Like, what if a Mario game came out that had combos? It's like nobody wanted that. And like the one thing that Sega does not understand about Sonic, its biggest franchise, is <laughs> is what it's known for. How do you not know what your your Sonic is about simplicity and about reaction time? and that's it and you're like well let's try something different with it that nobody would recognize this franchise it's like imagine if someone's like oh I remember Sonic from the old days I'm gonna buy this I'm gonna buy Sonic Unleashed for my child because I, I because it might be something of what I recognize from the past but no it's not and it's like you don't understand your own branding and it's like Ugh, stop it why are you putting combos in a Sonic game well, again, um, they they flat out uh, confirmed that the reason, the only reason why the Werehog is in this game is to is to pad out the runtime, uh, because if you just if you just if you don't no, say literally, I know, that, I know, like, it just like, always makes me laugh. But that's well, stupid. Because, you know, well, to be, well, no, I mean, to I don't agree with it, but to to be somewhat fair to Sega, I think because if you if you add up all of all of these Sonic only times uh, levels, it would only equate to a a few hours, and and Sega were thinking more about um, value of money for their consumer. Although I think after the lease came out, and everyone just said we just want the fucking Sonic levels. At least then in colors, they just gave you Sonic levels. Back then, so, I mean, did they, that was kind know. of a valid concern, I think, for a publisher. I don't yeah, think their which, execution was valid, but back then there was a lot more of like you know dollar per hour ratios from people who like to complain loudly on the internet. But also, I mean, back then, I mean, like, since since Unleashed, I think starting definitely with Generations, maybe Colors, Sonic games now don't retail at full value. They, they're normally sold for $40, which I think around the time of Unleashed, I don't think games did that. I think every game that came out was like 60 bucks, what have you. But now, I think developers, probably to do the fan feedback, are like, they, they can make games that aren't triple a triple a length what have you um and and still release it at a reduced cost and make a profit because sonic games tend to be you feel stupid for destroying that box don't you you feel stupid for it (laughs) no i don't i feel great i got to get my score up steven I mean, like a recent, like a recent example is like the cra- the Crash and Spyro uh, remasters, yes, which, which example, those are like yeah. fifty, those are like forty, fifty bucks. Ratchet did it too, yeah. Yeah. But you know, it, it's weird though because I I think for the amount of of content in those games, they could have retailed that full value because there are three, you know, three games in one. But I think it's because they you know that they're, they're old and classic, and they are just remasters. I I I greatly appreciate the fact that they were released at, at less than full price. Same. But the- but then you get stuff like then you get stuff like fighting full like fighting games where not counting all the DLC stuff they still retail at full price and usually there isn't enough content to fit. Well, that with re- of course the exception of Smash Bros. Ultimate because goddamn that game is packed. Okay. Yeah, Smash is the only one. Smash is the only fighting game that's worth like a full eighty dollar price. Eighty. So, well, he, Can- he's Canadian. Canadian. Oh, right. Yeah, off. sorry. I'm sorry, this no, animation... Saying, what sorry, you... what am I saying? <laughs> this animation is incredible. I apologize, Canada boy. Sorry I apologize. that... <laughs> sorry that our money is stupid. <laughs> hey man, all money's stupid. Right on, man. I'm very sorry, Mr. Smoothies, that your currency is stronger than mine. I will, I will strive to be better in the future. I apologize. I'll manipulate the stock markets immediately. <laughs> The good the good thing is that you act you, that you you can you can pay me less and I get more. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So Chris, remember a while ago we said, hey, let's try and have all our parts be twenty minutes. Now I'm starting to realize well your parts are like thirty. Cause you keep doing shit like this. No man. <laughs> I'm giving the viewers what they need. <laughs> <laughs> but it's only a moon medal, and moon medals are worthless. You need the sun medals. There's yeah, one. Yeah, man, I got them. Moon medals are worthless. What do you mean? Well, they're they're, they're not as worth as the sun medals because that's the one where you need like a hundred and twenty in order to get to the final level. Okay, so moon medals are like Canadian dollars. Gotcha. Mm. <laughs> it's weird thing. You, you you never hear of anyone having to farm for moon medals. It's always farming for sun medals in the late later half of the game. Um, oh god damn these sections. Whoa, oh, monster. Think you can circle around him on this incredibly tight platform? Yeah, it's really nice. You hear this, you hear the nice nighttime music, and then. Yeah, 
So I, th- I think I, I told I think I told this story before, but um, the, the Werehog battle theme is is what made Carrie return this game because <laughs> she was playing it um, and she got stuck uh, and so she you know she was looking at stuff to do, but when she was playing with it, every time she couldn't fucking stand the Werehog battle theme, <laughs> so she traded in the game for Mario Galaxy, a much better choice. I would have loved to have been there for that conversation at GameStop. It's like, okay, what's wrong with it, ma'am? The fucking ba- jazz music sucks. And that's the joke, and it's really and it, funny. It sucks because the song is actually <laughs> pretty good if it wasn't overplayed every single time. If it, yeah, exactly. If, 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 like, if, like, once per level they played the Werehog Battle theme, because I agree with it's, it's a it's a really nice drag track. It is track. a good track. It's just yeah. fucking... Pl- we, we don't need to hear it 75 times a level. It's especially mm. exacerbated because there is a specific uh, boss music track that plays in at least most stages. So they kind of oh, had the idea, right? Hmm. Yeah, well, it's weird because like, yeah, well, you, uh, you have you have you have a, a specific nighttime boss theme. So when you fight some of, of the bigger kind of dark Gaia creatures, you have the dark Titan theme, and you have the fucking just the standard battle theme. Which I think uh, a plus is that in in Eggman Land, the the Werehog battle theme doesn't. Yeah, they play. got it, think right it would, in one level. It would it would have been you know I know for years people have wanted like a. a, a remaster of this game to add a few fixes you know f- for one fix entirely just give give you the option to turn off the Wayhog battle theme yeah being played every six seconds or maybe each or maybe each stage has a different variation that's kind of like a remix with like the level so like this one is Wait, like a remix hmm. between apatos night and the battle theme What's crazy that when when the unleashed uh soundtrack was first you know ripped and leaked you know like a very recently after the game came out. No, actually, I, I think it happened before the game came out. The, it, I remember the leak, the, the big, most prominent leak had four different versions of the Wayhog battle theme, but they, they just started, before the game came out, we didn't know what why, but they just started at four different points in the yeah, song. I um, and it's like, like I, I would have liked, you know, that would have that would have Ooh. added some variety if you had like four different versions, you know? Yeah. Chris, is this the 360 version? Yes. Wow. The, the yeah. frame rate's worse than the PS3 version. That's great. Right? <laughs> it's the opposite of 06. Which, again, it's so funny that the fact that the PS3 version came out 10 months later. <laughs> 06, and it still was. Um, one, one point that other people have brought up that, that is annoying is that the, the XP doesn't just... just come to you yes yeah. automatically after you kill an enemy so if chris if chris was to get knocked into that that goal post he would lose out on all the xp um, also the fact that the xp disappears after yeah. a while if you wait um, too cool. long you lose your chance fuck you got a vinyl oh, chris. thank god people are just leaving vinyl across the world these days fucking hipsters ruining ruining mykonos you missed a pot chris no 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 i'm gonna get it don't you Why? fucking worry. I'm going to Why get it. Why are you it. doing this? Points. <laughs> you win. What are, what are you going to up what are you going to upgrade? Man, the warehouse levels are like a casino. They don't let you know what time it is till you're done. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, I got Art Book 64. That's my favorite one. Hello, I'm Ar- I'm Art Book 64. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't the know a book could have combo. a retake. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Are you just going, you're, just going, you're just going all for combat, Chris? Oh, strength. I, I go for those just so I have different buttons to push. That way I feel less uh, disinterested. I never give a shit about the shield. Yeah. I don't think I ever... Like, the shield and the unleashed like bar, the ones I always put up the least. Shield is good when you're fighting like the, those big guys and they help uh, avoid the shockwave. But other than that, they're not really useful mm. anywhere else. So, um, hey, we, we have Amy Plant, uh, back as tail, and kind of like uh, when Jason Griffith was instructed to kind of appear older and cooler. I, I honest to God, and no disrespect, I wouldn't be honest if if um, her direction for this game was, for the love of Christ, sound like a boy. Yeah. Um, because Tails always had a very high pitched like. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Chris. Um, but I, I actually really like Amy Plant's performance as Tails in this game. Um, I think it's she does a... Fuck 
Is it is it just for the next six minutes, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate you, Chris. <laughs> um, I actually don't like this Tails performance as much coming back to this game. I don't know. It feels. Uh, I th- it feels like I think, she's struggling uh, to say a lot of these long lines. Which, granted, anyone probably would, but it just sounds a little too strained. If that makes sense. It's weird, like, I, 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 you know what, I, not, not to put Amy Plant down, but I, I would, you know, I think Kate Higgins. Oh, yeah. And, um, um, oh, God damn it, what is her, Colleen. Clickenbeard? Yes, I think the, the <laughs> current, the current tales and, and Kate Higgins, I think, are way better tales, but this is, how, for me, my favorite Amy Plant performance, because, again, it sounds oh, yeah. like, it sounds like a boy, you know, not, not, not just a 12-year-old girl. Which tells you he's an eight-year-old boy, damn it. He should have the, the deep voice of a 13-year-old like he does in this game for some reason. The fox is at puberty quicker, you know. Uh, I think we're, we're about to come up to one of the first differences as to why, on some level, I prefer the Wii version. Because mm. we don't have these stupid fucking Simon Says in the Sky sections. There's only two of them, and they last five minutes. That's They're both a, terrible. That's Stephon, a lot of that's, minutes. That's, yeah, that's five minutes longer than you lost in bed. That's a third of a werehog level, Stefan. Are you implying Stefan has ever seen a bed? <laughs> he sleeps on the floor like a good boy. He's he's Canada. He sleeps in a drawer. I mean, <laughs> I mean, you 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 say that, but what? but You've I'm in a bed, a bed right now. <laughs> I don't have. I don't actually own a bed. Oh, but I'm in what? your mama's bed. All right, everyone, dip into the Patreon so we can buy stuff in a bed. Oh, this shit's on, gotten Stephen. bad. Even Obama has a bed. Come on. <laughs> it's true. I own several, said Obama. <laughs> what the fuck? In his annual visit to Stefan. <laughs> <laughs> Just Stefan. <Stephen. laughs> Obama's annual... Hello, Stephen, no, I'm Obama. She All right, Sonic, <laughs> if you do too good at this game, hit LB and RB to recharge your shots. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, it's like, I, I understand why for the Sonic levels and for the Werehog levels, I understand why quick time events were introduced. I don't, I don't agree. I don't like quick time events, but I can understand why they were introduced in the level sections. I don't, I don't, I don't know why you would, you would take away, like, I, I know not, not, not a lot of people enjoyed Sky Chase from SA1. They're wrong, but that's fine. But why, why would anyone fucking look at Sky Chase and, you know, let's just make it really fucking automated where you don't really get to say on you don't really get to control anything you just press buttons when the fucking thing comes up you know someone put someone puts you know two plus two on a fucking chalkboard you say four then you have to raise your hand to go use the bathroom it's fucking it's not for everyone steven <laughs> oh you screwed up now you're not gonna get the perfect achievement but you were talking Aww. about how how the the creators like admitted that they just put padding in the game well i mean how come you're not saying that here that's probably actually exactly I mean, why this for, exists. I mean, and I bet you fair, anything. I mean, fair, but I mean, I think there's there is there is at least a, a somewhat history of of Sonic games having like tornado sections. So this this feels less like padded to me. But I mean, you are you are right. Um, I bet you anything. There used to be at least at some point in planning, there was a stage every time you went to a new continent. And I'm glad there isn't. Yeah, that, if, so if that boring. if if they did that, then I would understand this being a problem. Because then it would be a problem. It should be like the sailing in Wind Waker. <laughs> yeah. It just no, feels like a least, nuisance. I, like, I never look forward to it other than the music, but I can just listen to the music outside the game. It's just like, all right, I guess I'm doing this for five minutes because I want to see the plot. So this this music, <sighs> for, for for whatever reason, I guess when I did... You hate this song. <laughs> when, I, when, I real, when I realized that uh, I was in love with Kerry. I had a dream where this this song was playing. <laughs> and so, like, whenever what? I think of my... Whenever I think of, of my love for my wife, I just hear... Dun, 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 dun. Well, just, like how, just like how when I think of my grandmother dying, I can just hear the banjo kazooie thing. Because that's what was playing when, when I heard she was dead. Hey, you know, you two met over an Unleashed LP, so it only makes sense that you think of Unleashed music. Exactly. Look, there you go. There you go. It's yeah, thematically it- appropriate. What That's were you lis- what you gotta tell yourself, dude. What were you listening to when you realized you were in love with me? I was listening... What was I listening when I listened to you? What the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> 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 
Let's go with that. I was listening. I was. I was listening to uh, "Live Life." Did you just just like when I made that video saying we were engaged? <laughs> so okay. So an- an- another problem, and this this is just more of a kind of nerdy nitpicking. Uh, section the inclusion of yes. this level dr eggman knows sonic is alive which makes the a, a future cut scene he's like oh how are you still alive like we fucking fought in the air 20 minutes ago what are you talking about can i i gotta take a moment to get like a nitpick out of the way but there's a time period where hideaki kobayashi the composer for this track used this fucking fake trumpet in like every song he did for sonic yep. and i just I hate <sighs> hearing it i hate it too it's such a bad trumpet I love. I think he's a good composer, but and I know he was like probably constrained by budget. But every time I hear it, I'm like, oh. they. It's probably you know, because they told him to be more orchestral, and that's not his usual style. Uh, his fantasy star online. He did some really good orchestrated stuff for that. Oh, well, game. then fuck me. What do I know? <laughs> I will <laughs> and a lot. Thank you. Well, it's Chris. It's like I. I kind of agree, but at the same time, I'm like his fake instrumentation. Still sounds better than everyone else's fake instrumentation. Oh yeah, so I, I I will t- I will take a fake orchestra from him. Aside from Richard Jacques' fake Son- Sonic R Man's fake orchestra work on Black Knight, sounds really fucking yeah. good. Yeah, but I think um, overall the orchestration yeah. sounds fine. It's just that one lead trumpet. The trumpet. Well, I I I would say the cutscene music specifically sounds really fucking cartoony and fake. Oh, yeah. In this game. I want to know who I want to know whoever's playing the the saxophone because whoever they got to do that is mm. I love them. Because, so if it's the way the way that the, the music breaks down is if it's for a level slash boss fight at least from from this point onwards, it, it nine times out of ten it'll be a real instrument even if it's just one person playing one violin or one trumpet what have you. But as soon as they get into we we need this to sound like an orchestra is is recording it they just go for like cartoon fake synth. Which I is sometimes, a shame. I sometimes wonder because Skyscraper Scamper saxophone solo that came from a sample CD. So I'm not sure oh, how much of this is like them versus. I don't, you know what I would I would have to go through my because um, whenever whenever you buy like the soundtracks they come with um, booklets oh, and yeah. it'll say like it'll say for like fucking so for Green Hill Zone in Generations for some reason they have a live clarinet player for generations what have you so like the the I, I, you know what for the for the next part i, I will get my uh, copy of the unleashed soundtrack and we'll go through oh this lp is about to get good it's gonna get good boys we'll go by track by fucking track and you you <laughs> everyone everyone throw out a level and i'll tell you if the uh if the music had uh live instruments or not okay okay boy 